guys have probably seen this video on my Halloween video at one place. But back in March of 2022, I have decided to catch Indiana and Ohio Lewis for a very long time, and I still do as of right now. But, unfortunately, a lot of things have changed on the company. Genesee, Wyoming, is decided they're not going to get into their old power anymore. So they decided to give Indiana and Ohio and whatever Genesee, Wyoming, like out east or anywhere, like some new power. For this example, like this power we won't see anymore. The credit goes to the nice welfare. Like all of these SD40s that were in the consist on the Washington courthouse, you would not be able to see because some of them are gone already. In 2024, some of these or all of these were either kept or in storage at Norwood, where their headquarters are at. February of 2023, you'll still be able to see the SD40s, but within a few months, that would all change. But the leader for today would be 3489, which is capped in, in storage at Norwood, Ohio. So the 3313 is the trailing unit that's on Ohio Central. You, you still will be able to see that, but you would have to go all the way down to Columbus or somewhere in Ohio trackage. 2101 is still wanting, switching in Lipsick, and now the 60M are now all gone to LTX. They're basically in storage over there at Lordtown, Ohio. But the next train will be very surprising what you're gonna see. It would be an XBNN SD40 3488 that is now in storage at Norwood. And ever since all of these units, like SD40, B and D, they're on storage or either that, they're in some different railroad now. In September of 2023, I was given some news that INO is getting replacing all of their EMDs, especially the Triclops, replacing them with GE BNSF 9s. And that was, this is the whole consist that my friend Evan called down Ladera, Ohio, on the Washington courthouse. Two CSX 8s, which are now into the INO paint scheme. There is the CNO sticker, and by the time of February of 2024, I was lucky to get the flatline turn with the two SD40s remaining that are still running up here. The fact that after these the 40s were going south, the GEs replaced them for the flatline turn now. So this will be the last time I would have saw the EMDs that was running on the flatline turn. So that will be the last time to see EMD on a flylock. Now we're here in Delta as of April of 6 of 2024. It would be two days before the solar eclipse and I ended up seeing one of the Dash 9's XBNSF's that would have been already into the INO paint scheme. I saw that on April as of 2024. Now, this is June of 2024, and basically the Dash 9s are leading the flower turn now, so yay, this is going to be our current power for any type of train, for any trains, honestly. 
because the walk train hasn't went ever since down in Cincinnati. They haven't went in a little while. And basically all the 40s are in storage. So that's kind of sad that all the GEs are replaced E and B in 40s. But I will say this though couple weeks back in July I ended up seeing a pretty well good contest I thought it would be going north just one day but I ended up seeing the Lipsic local that comes out of Lima and do some switching around Lipsic Ohio <laughs> Now, 2101 is basically going to go from the north end to the south end of the siding. So what that means, he is going to be going to be hooking up to the cars. And basically what he's going to do is he's going to get the cars from the building. And then basically once they get the two cars out of there, they're going to put the four cars on the main and then put a two in the factory so basically the west of this like clips that I decided to take before I saw another INO train whatever this is going to be some switching duties that they did here in Lipsick so I hope you guys enjoyed some of the switching but I will be back when we see some more I know trains. Two in position, safety, show back one, scoot the car. Roger, get, get safety in position, one side, point one one.
got done doing their switching here, we decided to head back to CSX where we would do some of our final well fitting before heading back home. Within a week later, we are back in Leipzig, Ohio, and we end up seeing 2101 just sitting here for a few hours, and my surprise is that the Lima North is heading to Delta today with 2 dash 8 and 1 dash 9 that is trailing third out of three. The crazy thing is though, the marker lights are on, so that makes the chase even worth it. Just north of Lipsick, and we caught up to him. So we saw this like signal just sitting by the tracks. It still works, but I'm assuming they don't use it as much. But it was just kind of cool to get it with the dash 8 blowing by them. So 4079 was ending up leading the train today. I guess somehow they just ended up just flipping the power. So basically the 4782 was supposed to lead going north, but 4079 is now leading. I'm not complaining about it. They have the marker light on. I'm kinda happy about that. Basically, we're south of Hamler, trying to get to Hamler on time before we miss the, the turn going by the old R2 dt signal. But we were thinking about crossing the road before the train got to the crossing. But we said, nah, we ain't gonna worry about that. We're just gonna wait till the train passes us so we can proceed to go to Hamler. 
which was a good, very good idea. There's a lot of accidents that happen. We didn't want to do that, so that's why we just wanted to wait. Waited this train to go by. We're basically in Hamler now, waiting for it to go by. And I thought I could just snap a few photos or videos of the R2 that's sitting by the old DT9 North main line. So we waited and waited and waited because we had to wait for two trains to go by on a Willard. 3.30 and they got to proceed north. They are able to go north. We decided to go north toward like some like out country roads. Like some of these spots that I like decide to like do at are gonna be like some like crossings. Like this one. I did like a sh really good shot with a photo of this train by some like pretty good flowers and stuff, so I wanted to find that with the train. them here on this crossing we decided to find another crossing that we would go to just north of the Monty River so I thought they would have to go slow but they did not I guess the ORE back in 2021 he had to go slow through the Monty River not the Lima North though however we only had like a minute to spare to this crossing. After we catch him here at milepost 79, this would honestly be the last crossing before they go into the yard. So basically, the west of the roads before the yard are basically bridges. So this kind of like sucked because we had to go on the side of a road where this was a bad idea. So I had to go... I didn't do any pictures, I just had to do video from the side of the road which that was not a bad idea I'm not gonna do this again I should have like gone to the stop sign and stopped there and done my video over there that's what I should have done but this will be the last time I would see the Lima North anyway so we had a truck that was be going to go by before the Lima North went across the bridge but I was trying to do pictures, but it did not go well.
we're back in Carlton, Michigan, where I thought I would do some well fitting with some buddies of mine, but then I saw the signal on the Flatlock subdivision where it would be a flashing yellow, and I thought to myself, I don't know it's wanting to Flatlock today, because it's Tuesday. They always won on Tuesdays and Friday for the Flatlock time. So this would actually be the last train that we would actually catch for this new era video. I thought I would just put it in, why not? It's just new power, not any SD40s. After doing some switching at Flatlock, they would go back to Delta, where they originate out of. So this is basically our last time seeing INO. If you guys really enjoyed this new era video of INO, please give the video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoyed it. But unfortunately, today's video ends off here in Carlton, Michigan. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys either through Michigan or State or the Buckeye State Bells.